Hello everybody and welcome to another reaction video. Now this one is another almost promotional video because um, Meadows End as you know um, at the beginning of January asked me to do a reaction video to their new single from the new album um, The Grand Antiquation they asked me to check out a track called Non-Dreaming Eye and they followed up and asked me if I wouldn't mind reacting to the follow-up single um, off the same album, uh, the track called Devolution, I believe it's called. I suppose it's, uh, it's supposed to be a play on words of de-evolution or devolution, so they've called it Devolution. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I don't have any lyrics for it, but as I understand it, it is a lyric video, so I'll hopefully try and grab something from there. Um, so I'll be very interested to see what this track is like. Um, if it's anywhere as good as Non-Dreaming Eye or any of the other tracks I've heard so far, then, you know, I'm dead excited for it. And they do have another uh, single coming up sometime in the m towards the end of February, which I will also be um, doing a reaction to. Um, so... I'll just get straight into this track. I will put a link to the original video in the description below as well. So this is Devolution by uh, Meadows End. Let's get into it, shall we? Ooh. gonna pause it just before it gets into the um, vocals because I love the intro to this track already it's so you know it's got a really sort of grand feeling to it it's really good it's you know you've got the vocalization you know almost um, like a choir in the background you got that fantastic sounding piano in there and you've got those heavy chugging guitars in there as well it's a brilliant intro to a track really really good it sounds amazing. I'm really looking forward to the rest of this track already. <laughs> we'll carry on. Love this track. This track is amazingly good. It's really energetic. It's such a great piece of music. I absolutely love it. Um, 
sorry, I got really excited there because this is such a really mm, piece of music. Really gets you pumped. Really f***ing good. Uh, <clears throat> and people, <laughs> I don't, I try not to swear that much in my videos, but Jesus, um, what a fantastic song. Um, and the song itself is talking about, or seems to be talking about, the ignorance of mankind. I can't actually quote any of the lyrics because I don't have any written down. Um, but they're talking about like a dark heart pulses within mankind and you know we're ignorant to the way that the world is sort of descending into chaos and you know whilst we might see it we just pretend like it's not happening we don't we don't actively care we sit there and we complain about it but we don't actively do anything about it either and excuse me <clears throat> you know we're watching countries are warring with each other over sorry pathetic little things you know racism is getting out of control at the moment you know pe people are being reported you know there's a african american family having a barbecue in a park and some crazed white woman has to make some complaint about it you know what is going on you know segregation ended decades ago why is this all coming back? And, you know, we're just sort of sitting there going, oh, yeah, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> but we're not doing anything about it. And it said there, you know, sooner or later, we're going to have to do something about it. We're going to have to turn this world around. Otherwise, we will be responsible for the death of mankind. We, we ourselves will be responsible for destroying ourselves and destroying the earth. This is from what, this is what I'm reading from it. Um, Really, really exciting. Really great song. Let's carry on.
I really cannot say how much that track it is. F***ing amazing. Absolutely amazing piece of music. Great guitar work. The, the music itself is just amazing. You know, and the vocals, phenomenal. And the lyrics as well. As I said, it's, you know, there was a line in there saying, you're part of the system too. And it's like, you can sit there and you can plead ignorance to the rest of the world. You can be like, oh, the governments are screwing over whoever. It's not my concern. Well, it is your concern because you are part of it. You are part of the world. You can do something against it, even if it's not your country. You know, there is still something you can do to improve the state of life on this planet. You know, don't add to the hate. Don't add to the racism, the bigoted opinions of others, you know, stand up against it, rise up against it. And they're like saying, we need a revolution. We need to stop this. We need to, we need a change. We cannot keep living the way we're living in a world where everybody is in, is like offended by everything where we think it's okay to insult and judge somebody for, because we don't understand them. You know, we, you know, Racism was supposed to have stopped years ago, but it's suddenly come sweeping back for some unknown reason. And, you know, it's like these people in governments who are trying to make themselves and their friends rich. They don't care about the poor. They just want to make the poor poorer so they can get them out of the way so they can make more money. You know, this sort of thing needs to stop. Yeah, you because know, it is essentially destroying the planet because, you know... Where, where's the harmony? Where's the cohesion? You know, that we inhabit the earth. We are mankind. Mankind. We are all one race. But somehow there is still division and stuff like that. And it needs to stop. There's no need for it. And, you know, if we keep attacking each other, if we keep creating war and stuff like that, we're going to destroy the world. We're going to destroy mankind. We're going to we're going to be our own extinction, essentially. So it's like saying, rise up against it, be the change, be the people to fight against it, and actually change the world, rather than just sitting back and being okay with it, hoping somebody else is going to fix it for you. But that was a phenomenal track, really high energy. It's one of those songs that really, really gets you pumped up. It was a f***ing phenomenal piece of music. Absolutely loved every minute of it. <sighs> amazing anyway I'll leave that as it is um, as I said I do have another Meadows End track off the Grand Antiquation to check out um, towards the end of February as well so that will be coming in a little while um, I'm looking forward to that if it's any anywhere as good as the first two tracks it's gonna be phenomenal um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. But I'm still I'm going to be doing my list as normal in between them. Um, so yeah, if anybody wants to suggest a track for me to react to, then please do so by all means. Drop a comment in the comment section below, or you can um, you can message me on my Facebook or my Instagram. The links to those are in the description below as well. Um, just know that if you do suggest a track, it might take me a while to get around to it because I do get suggested dozens of tracks every single day, and you know, it's the list is growing faster than I can record videos, so it will take me a while to get to it. But it will be recorded because I do write down every excuse me, I do write down every track that is suggested to me. Um, so it will be done. It just might take me a while. Um, also, Metalhead Reacts is a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. <coughs> excuse me, and uh, they are a British-based charity who are focused on putting an end to hate crimes and helping the victims of those hate crimes. Um, it doesn't matter who you are, you know, if you listen to alternative music, if you dress in alternative fashion, if you have an alternative sexual preference, if you identify as a different gender, if you're a different race, different religion, it doesn't matter. Nobody should be persecuted or attacked for the way they live their lives. So long as the way you live your life is within the confines of the law, nobody has the right to judge you or attack you for being who you are. Everybody is an individual. If everybody was exactly the same, this planet would be a terribly boring place to live. Everything would be beige, all music would be the same. It would 
be a nightmare. There would be no diversity. There would be no. There would be nothing interesting going on in the world. It would just be dull. Um, you know. And that being said, <clears throat> you know, there is still no valid excuse for attacking someone because they like something different. I'd love to hear an actual valid justification for attacking someone for listening to heavy metal music. A valid justification for attacking someone because they are homosexual. You know, what is the valid excuse that you can give me? What is the one justification you can give me where I'll actually go, do you know what, I see why you're beating them up. Go right ahead. C can anyone give me a good example? One that is an actual valid justification. Because there isn't one. There just isn't one. It's impossible to do because there is no valid justification. It's like, I don't like you because you listen to heavy metal music. Well, that's fine. You don't have to like me, but that doesn't give you the right to beat me up because I haven't done anything to you just because I listen to different music. It doesn't affect your life in any way. If I was blaring mu my music in your face, then I could maybe understand you getting a bit annoyed at me and then perhaps give me a punch in the mouth. But I'm not doing that. You know, I'm just... For example, I'm just walking down the street. I don't even have headphones in. I don't even have any music playing. Yet it's okay for you to shout insults at me, push me into doors, push me into walls, just because you don't like the way I dress and the music I listen to. What does that gain you? You know, it doesn't make you big. It doesn't make you clever. It's not smart. You know, it doesn't make you look tough in front of your mates. You just pushing someone that's all it is it's pathetic so you know it, it needs to stop because it's unnecessary and you know it, it, we have enough conflict in this world as it is what with all these unnecessary wars being fought with all the racism that's permeating every inch of our bloody culture at the moment it needs to stop we don't need any more conflict just stop it just put an end to it and th this is exactly what the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is trying to do. They're trying to put an end to all of this. Uh, or they're trying to help to, because just one charity alone is not going to be able to do all of this. But it, it needs to stop, and I think it's a worthwhile charity. I've been attacked multiple times by people. Uh, many of my friends have, so I'm sure some of you out there have also been attacked just purely because of your choice in music. And, um, yeah... It's a very worthwhile charity. I think, you know, if you want to find out more about the charity, go over to their website. There's a link to the website in the description below. Find out what they're about. Um, they can probably explain it and describe it a lot better than I can. Um, you know, find out what they're doing at the moment and, you know, maybe throw them a little support. That would be fantastic. But I'm going to leave that as it is. I am. I'm going to leave that as it is for the time being. Thank you all very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.